how old these tomatoes? When we buy them? Mm -hmm. uh, but they were most probably six weeks old when we bought them. Yeah. So maybe, maybe... They have grown, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, they're double in size since we bought them. Yeah. Good. Where do you want? Water? Yeah. My husband is planting the tomatoes we bought in the garden center. And uh, he's watering it now. And uh, when we bought it, it's quite small. And now has grown. So... Hopefully, they will fruit a lot. They are all the same variety. <coughs> this is the variety of it. Surely. And last year, we had this thing, uh, this variety, and we had a good crop. There is only one different here. I'll show you that. because they didn't they didn't have any more ah this one it's like beef tomato but it's called Eliza Craig they have also red fruit quite big yeah hmm. what I'll do pass it to you yeah, he kneeled down there, look. Because he's old. <laughs> I cannot do that because I had my knee replacement and it hurts to bend to kneel down. So he volunteered to plant it. <laughs> I will water it anyway. Mm, so that's what he does. This is a grow bag and it has a complete food for the tomatoes. But still, you can give some uh, water and give it tomorite. Yeah. It's a tomato feed that we can that you can buy in the. You don't give that to a flowers come. Garden center or any store, <coughs> and uh, only to give that when the tomato start flowering. She is an expert. It says what? Feeding. Commence feeding plant with specified uh, formulated fertilizer. So it's good. And then uh, we have here a stick, a bamboo stick, and that, and here tomato will go up <laughs> until here yes and uh, last year we had get given neighbors a lot as well and we also have had a lot <sighs> after planting the tomato where's the odd water. tomato the odd one mercy the different one uh, what is that tomato, Shirley? Yeah, the, no, the one I you think said. I gave you already. Oh, it's there, I can see it. Hmm. There, you just push in there. <sighs> I'll put this one on the end here. Make a little hole. push it in the size of the hole is not too big so that the soil stay in the bag the other one has a hole yeah there you go six done and six more to go no water water Tomatoes loves a lot of uh, tomato loves a lot of water, so 
especially when they are in the grow bag the water evaporates evaporates yeah. quickly more water please more water i have here a butt of water it's hard to get rid of there you go This is where I get the water from. This is a tap water, by the way. There you go. I think we. Yeah, this is what he does. Yeah. Pop a hole. So one grow bag, uh, we can only plant three, but uh, if you want four, we'll, it can be, but it will be too much. So just follow what is in the instruction here. So three, three square means three tomatoes or three chilies or whatever. So that is the last bit of the tomato, tomatoes. And we have like 12 tomatoes. There you go. And now we'll go to the front yard and we'll plant some one apple tree and one pear tree. So this is the apple tree that we're going to plant. My husband will. And we bought it yesterday and it has already flowers you can see and uh, we plant it uh, with the other apple and this one is the pear tree it doesn't have flower yet but it will soon hopefully my husband said this variety is called Hoyen du homies. They are quite small and rounded. And uh, I prefer this one because this is very crunchy. I like this variety. And the apple one is called Malos Gala. And this is how the fruit will be look like. Looks good and nice. So let's go and uh, plant this. So this is our apple tree. It's been here two years, yeah? And there's no flower this year. So I said I will buy another one to encourage it to flower. So I also bought pear tree to encourage uh, pollination and this is our front garden my husband is digging now because I, I don't have the strength today yeah it should be how deep oh, same as that yeah it should be 8 inches deep and we put compost in underneath, yeah? I don't know. Yeah. And mulch the uh, surface after planting. I bring you a compost. So we'll put some amount. Not a lot. Now put the tree. Taste the soil first. Just a little, not too much. There you go. Then cover up with soil and water. I'll bring water. Yeah, please. And then stake the tree. Because it's uh, sometimes it's very windy here. 
So the tree, especially young, needs support. There you go. I need cable yeah. tie. No, in my in two years. Ah, you take that, uh, that stick in, in a year. Two yeah, years time. and put a cable tie. Change the cable tie next year, perhaps, to us, you know, so they're not tight. Yeah, oh, okay. Not too tight. Right. They've got movement, but won't break. Yeah, and water it. <clears throat> should be water thoroughly and then we'll put some mulching on top there you go so what is the aim of Where mulching to stop the sun from evaporating you know from drying the soil out it just keeps the sun off the Yeah, to yeah, retain the uh, moisture. Retain the moisture, yeah. Yeah. Where do you want this one? Yeah, just there where you're... Here? Or here? It's not opposite of that? Well, oh, that's opposite is up here somewhere. Show me. But that's not... Uh, yeah, oh, here. that one there. Here? Yeah. So this is yeah, where the apple, apple tree. Some of that leaf free. Leaf bit free? Yeah. So time to water it. No, 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 no. Let me. So same thing. Put a stake, and then cable tie then water and then later on I'll put some bark for mulching or mulching do you think that apple will grow taller what one? that one they all will oh that was down there when I went in height remember we bought that taller tall already no, I don't think I cut four foot out of that last year as well. Ah. Right. What have you done with the cable tie, sweetie? It's just there after that pot. Then water the apple tree. When it gets dry, I uh, will put some bark tree wow. so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy it and uh, see you again on my next video bye